All right, then, lads. St. James's Park, Newcastle at home to Wolves. Johnny, we've seen Newcastle go to the Emirates um, on Sunday there and get absolutely battered. Um, they got a consolation goal late on. Uh, Joe Willock back for them. He'd be a huge boost for them. But, um, yeah, just Newcastle, I don't know if it was they were that bad. Arsenal were that good. But they just didn't have a touch for nearly 70 minutes of the game. Um, Newcastle are very poor. That's just uh, the top and tail of it. Um, Arsenal, of course, in lightning uh, form as well. This uh, and we speak about them, of course. But in the last couple of games, I think if you look back to our predictions last week, I think that was one of the few predictions we all got really close to. Yeah, yeah we, all, we, we, all, we all we all said four, Newcastle. four or five nil. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's funny with Newcastle, like, kind of they're trying to force rivalries on everyone else, and the top teams are just embarrassing them really, um, yeah. on and off the pitch. So. Uh, injuries are still tough. I mean, it's kind of the same time, uh, same every week. We speak about Newcastle is their injuries aren't getting any closer to coming back. They are a relatively poor squad. Unfortunately for them, they can't they they can't use the abundance of riches that is there waiting for them. I think that's probably massively frustrating for them. Yeah, and City was able to do it for years, but they were kind of hit with um with new laws coming in to to stop them from doing it. So they're probably feeling fairly uh, sorry for themselves at the moment, but they're in a serious rut. The problem they have, and I think the problem Eddie Howe has, if this continues to the end of the season, he may be under serious, serious pressure. And I do, I kind of said it a month ago, and I was kind of knocked back, and I can understand the time, but now I really, I really do stand by it that if they don't kind of pull it together for the rest of the season, some way, grasp some form. Maybe grab your Europa League football. Like they're not above Europa League football whatsoever. I think they're yeah. into it. And the need to financially also, in Newcastle, the need to get into Europa League. Um, yeah. So I think Eddie Howe is in serious struggle coming to summer. I genuinely do think so, unless they put some form together um, over the coming weeks until the end of the season. It's been a really poor season for them. But yeah. I, like I have said before, they're victims of their own success. If they finished sixth, seventh last season, and then they're here this season, you're like, okay, a slight improvement. They've been very unlucky with injuries. You could say, okay, well, let's get to the end of the season and let's build upon it. It's the fact they did so well last season. Then you're looking at, well, come here, why come you're not there this season? So yeah. that's, we're com- comparing to the team they were last season, but the league is completely different, not only with injuries, but just in terms of teams being, different teams being on form uh, and things like that. So they're in dire need of a win and just in dire need for some of the guys to get back from injury. Rob, uh, with Wolves now, back-to-back wins for Wolves. You've seen them win against Sheffield United. Only 1-0 at home to Sheffield United. I thought they'd probably maybe put three or four past them. Uh, they were a little bit wasteful. Um, you know, we talk about that little clump of teams between, you know, 10th and, and like 6th and 7th. Um, Wolves have a zero goal difference and that's going to play a huge factor come the end of the season you know I think United is only like plus one I think now or um, I don't think it is I think, we're, I think, we're, I think we're back to zero again back to zero, yeah, back to zero as well but I think Brighton's yeah. I, don't, like, I think Brighton's is only like eight uh, plus eight um, yeah. you know it's, Newcastle it's until, like, until, until you hit like the fourth or fifth then it jumps up alright but Everyone else yeah. around there is still pretty dire. Yeah, like it's pretty low. I think Newcastle isn't the highest either. I think it's in double digits plus. Uh, but um, yeah, like, uh, you know, that game against Sheffield was a good opportunity for them uh, with absolutely a bit of disrespect to Sheffield. They're a bad team. Like we thought, well, we'll probably put four or five past them. To be fair, though, um, Sheffield had chances. It was very nearly a banana peel for Wolves. Sheffield yeah, yeah. had chances. Probably the better, the better of the chances. Dawson was being absolutely destroyed by um, was it Mac- McAfee or McAtee? McAtee, yeah. McAtee, yeah, but the useless cunt. He knows how to run, but he does not have to kick a ball. I know, yeah, there um, was that the, had his run through on goal, and he just... He threw goal, he had three, he three touches, and he, he, didn't, he didn't know. Yeah. Just a, a team short of confidence, you know, everywhere. Yes, just, yes. That's it. They don't, they don't have, a, have a score. You you need someone, like, as a relegation team, you need that one player up around the attack that can least have a goal. It's a right winger, left winger, striker. Even if it's between five and ten goals, you can count on him. Even if it's something like a dodgy Chris Wood or something like that, like you know, yeah, uh, they don't have it. Simple as, um, the two boys up front, you know, they're just they're shockingly poor. They're they're not up to the Premier League level, which is fair. But the the put up to Wolves, I think everyone, well, definitely us in the group chat, or not even group chat, the the podcast, we thought the Wolves would get it, you know, get away fairly fairly easily, which they did not. They made it hard for themselves. It was a good header by Sarabia, a uh, good glancing header to the far corner, um, but. They got the win, they got the clean sheet. It's it's momentum at the end of the day. 
three points. Um, three points. At the end of the day, that's all that matters. Whatever about goal difference. Like it could have so easily been one point or, or three points to Sheffield, like had Sheffield finished their chances. So, you know, they'll take the three points. And look, they're, they're still doing brilliantly. A top half finish for them, whether it's seventh, whether it's tenth, is brilliant for a team that was dubbed to go down over the summertime. Um, they're they're flying, absolutely flying. Yeah, and they'll be looking at this game as well as like you know, we talk about Newcastle, they're like terrible form, they're conceding goals at front and centre. This could be a game that Wolves would fancy their chances. It, it, it definitely, definitely suit Wolves. Um, because that's one thing that I brought up last week is their only downfall possibly against Sheffield was they're not suited to being the you know the possession yeah. team, they're yeah, counter attacking. Yeah. That's how they are. That's uh, that's actually how they scored their goal was pretty much for a counter attack, but they kind of slowed up a small bit. Yeah. And Newcastle will apply the pressure, and there'll be, there'll be loads of space for for Neto and Wang and the boys to to pop into and hopefully get the job done. Which I actually would, I would expect them to. Well, not expect. I would, I would hope for them to, and I, I will, I will put them as as winners in my prediction. All right. Well, predictions then. I think two one Wolves. I think it'd be a big shock for Newcastle. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, I think two Wolves. I think Wolves um, have been fantastic this season, and. Uh, they're going to heap more misery on Newcastle than they have. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll probably go, you know, I think it'd be a draw game. I think Wolves will probably play the better of the two, but I think Newcastle will just probably, you know, snatch a, a late one, I think. So probably, I'll go with 2-2 in this game. I think there'll be, there'll be goals, definitely. Yeah, 